There are many mysteries about the birth of universe and its evolution. The most important, dangerous and mysterious thing is a black hole. However, nobody has ever seen it. The black hole has the capability to swallow even a huge planet. Anything that comes closer to this can never be returned. Even a light traveling at a speed of 186,000 miles per second cannot escape from it. This explains the power of a black hole. What exactly is a black hole? How do they form? What happens when an object enters into a black hole? Let's unfold some of these mysteries in this video. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Ask Me Why. Thank you for clicking this video today. Please watch it till end to learn something new. During nights, when we look up into the sky, we see stars illuminate very brightly. That is due to a chemical element present in it called hydrogen. These hydrogen atoms convert into helium in the process of a nuclear fusion and releases enormous amount of energy and radiation. The energy that releases from the core or from the middle of the star moves farther from it. But at the same time, the gravitational force of the star pulls back this energy towards the middle. Because of these two equal and opposite forces acting together, a star can be in a stable state. After some million years, the hydrogen present in the star will be exhausted with no more nuclear reactions, resulting in no energy being released. So the core's gravitational force pulls the star towards itself and its size is reduced to become like a small ball. Due to this, the density will be increased at the core, resulting in a sudden blast inside the star. This is called a supernova explosion. If the exploded star's size is small, then it turns into a neutron star with high density. The density is super high that one teaspoon weight of this star would be equal to 10 million tons weight on the Earth. If the star is big, then after explosion, it becomes a black hole. This possess very high gravitational force compared to any other thing in this universe. Not all dead stars become black holes. To become one, its size must be 20 times greater than our sun. This means there is no possibility of our sun to become a black hole. Dead stars with a size greater than 20 times of our sun will become stellar black holes. These are small but very dangerous. There will be millions of these in the universe. Next, supermassive black holes. Death of stars that are 100,000 to million times bigger than our sun become supermassive black holes. They are usually situated in the middle of the galaxy. The big black hole in our galaxy is called Sagittarius A star. This is so huge that the diameter of it is 44 million kilometers and it is located at a distance of 25,640 light years from our Earth. Let's understand the light year. A light travels at a speed of 300,000 kilometers per second so the distance traveled by this light in a span of one year gives us one light year. That is approximately 9.5 trillion kilometers per year. So the Sagittarius A star black hole is 25,640 light years away from our Earth. Black hole is surrounded by an event horizon. Any object enters into this horizon spins at a very high speed and reaches to the center of the black hole. In the middle of this black hole, time proceeds very slow. Physics laws are applicable everywhere in the universe except inside it. Till date, nobody knows what exactly happens inside a black hole. Some scientists believe that black hole connects two universes through a pathway called wormhole and reaches to the next universe. Some believe that there is a possibility of time traveling as well. But if a human enters into this event horizon due to gravitational force, the body gets stretched and will be churned into segment of pieces. Nobody has seen a black hole. Logically, if you are able to see any object in this universe, that is because it reflects the light projected onto it. But the black hole attracts even the light into it. So it's not possible to see a black hole in this universe. So let's find out how a black hole is spotted. Stars near a black hole revolve at a very high speed and a star illuminates with more brightness when it is entering into a black hole releasing X-rays. By these signs, scientists can identify existence of black holes. 
Lastly, every object in the universe must die at a given point. Then what about a black hole? Famous scientist Stephen Hawking said that there will be an end for black hole as well. Continuous radiation released from a black hole, which is called Hawking radiation. As a result, the black hole loses its mass and energy. If no object enters into it, after some years, the black hole size shrinks and finally gets evaporated. But it takes a very long time. That is, to reduce its size by 0.0000001%, it takes some billions and trillions of years. So just imagine the time it takes to completely evaporate. Okay friends, if you feel like you have learned something new today, please like and share it with your dear ones. And please subscribe to my channel Ask Me Why to get more updates on upcoming interesting videos. Thank you.